Welcome to another bean pick. It's March 29th, 2012, and this is our April pick. And over last month we went over the straw the wrath. This this month we're gonna go over the straw the rush, and I think we're gonna throw this uh, the straw the mocks in there as well. Uh, the rush is a 34 inch axle to axle bow. The brace height is six and a half inch. This is their speed bow. Uh, they're pushing I think 342, 345 feet per second. As in my last review, they do have like a little born on sticker that does have the available statistics that they've shot on this bow. The born on date was March 20th, and the bow specs this is 70 pounds, it's set at 29 inch. They shot a 350 grain arrow, and it was 325 feet per second. So, that so you know, 29 inch that's pretty good, 325 feet per second. Um, in these bows, they do have this is the all ninja bow. And in the ninja bow, they have the black and silver strings. And then they have the brown and silver strings for the camo bows. It, you can see, here's the limbs. And there are the black limbs. And then the black riser, of course. Um, on the back side of the riser, where the rest normally mounts, is where you're going to find your serial number on this bow. Um, it's got the, the nice uh, wooden grip like we've seen before from them has the bent uh, string stop suppressor. Uh, the cable slide is new for this year. It's a, a what they call a T-glide, I believe, and uh, the straight cable rod. And also new for this year is their Badger Cam system. Their Badger Cam is a Mod Pacific cam. So you, they are Mod Pacific for the draw lengths. You can't just move it, move something around to change the draw lengths. This is set at 29. If you wanted to go to 30 or 28 or whatever, you gotta have a Pacific Mod pop it in the press, change the mods on both sides. Now it does have some let off adjustments and it does have some a lot of orientation holes so you can fine tune your bow, makes that part a little bit easier, especially if you got a draw tuning device and that sort of thing. Um, it is the split limb, a design like we've seen before from Struther. This bow um, should, is their speed bow for this year, like I said, it shoots pretty smooth. We're gonna shoot a, a couple arrows just to kind of get the feel of the draw cycle and everything like that. But I did, like I said, it was six, six and a half, 34 inch ATA. Um, one thing too to note on this, I had a question on my last RAF review is about the quietness of the bow. Um, this bow, compared to the others, really doesn't have any suppression on it. It does have the speed knocks on there, but that's it. Uh, there is no limb savers or dampeners in the limbs like we've seen on other bows and there are no string leeches or anything like that like we've seen on some of the other bows we reviewed. So this this is just straight and this is how it comes from the factory. Now you can always, if it's too loud for your liking, you can get some limb savers and put in the limbs, put in the string and quiet this bow down as much as you would desire. But um, for right now, there are no ways to, there's nothing standard that comes with it to quiet it down. First shot, pretty smooth draw cycle. Um, as you can tell, it's pretty quick. Um, not, I, I think it's pretty quiet to be stocked like that. Like I said, you can quiet it down. Um, the other thing, there's just a tad, tiny bit of hand shock, um, which you would expect from a six, six and a half inch brace height speed bow. Um, it's just so much energy there. You're gonna get that, but a good, dampener um, stabilizer will help stop some of that. We're going to do shot number two here. Yeah, the only thing I can really say, it does have a little bit of hand shock, but that's with no stabilizer or anything put on there. So, but overall, I think it's pretty quiet. Most of the noise is, you know, from the arrow hitting the target. Um, but this is the Strother Rush. You can check these out on our website or strotherarchery.com. Uh, we have having a stock ready to shoot. If you have any questions about this bow, about availability or need help, don't have a Strother dealer in your area, you can give us a call at 336-564-2400.
You can email us at eric, that's E-R-I-C, at beanoutdoors.com, and you can visit us on our website at www.beanoutdoors.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.